So we're back with Portrait of Ruin. I'm gonna be honest, I can't I couldn't stop thinking about this game earlier today. So I'm down to play more of it since it's a lot earlier in the day. Uh nobody bugged me to play with them. So I got like all night to play this game, so it's gonna be fun. Depending on how I feel, um this could either be a like two hour stream or a five hour stream i don't know probably not five though but i kind of i'm kind of in the, a good mood i'm kind of in the mood to like keep going so yeah we have we still have the stupid smug pack man is the game good enough volume yeah i think so all right so we're gonna continue and Oh yeah, right. We're in the middle of that uh desert. You're back. I already did this. Defeat the ghosts. Ooh. Spooky ghosts. So, yeah, how are you guys liking the layout? Is it good? The screen the screen will look a lot bigger for you guys than it is on my end, because I'm using the typical DS um like screen. But on your guys' end, it's like really blown up. Also, this is not the right, um, this is not the right painting. This game really is just freaking Mario 64. <laughs> Alright, so let's go over here, because this is where the uh, desert world is. It's still um, hilarious to me that there's a desert in my Castlevania game. Oh, yeah, right. Mages. Oh yeah, uh, another thing I apparently learned is if you hold up, if you hold up and, um, the attack, you can do, like, a charge attack. Look at that! So I, I found that on the wiki, that you can actually charge your spells, and it's even stronger if you do it that way. So yeah, that's pretty dope. Also, um, there's apparently another- there's apparently an easter egg in this game where if you, um, hold up, um, Charlotte will say something funny. <laughs> well, not bad, huh? <laughs> yeah, she does- she does that if you hold up for, like, five seconds. It, it's very random, but, man, is it cool. Holy shit, I'm gonna be picking way more ass with this. Yeah, but obviously you gotta charge it, which, you know, takes time. But look at how much more powerful that shit is. Okay, well, let me, um... Let me try that out with... Oh yeah, I can summon ghosts. Let me try that out. Huh. I just get a couple familiars. That's pretty neat. Ow. These mummies are not worth it, man. <laughs> so if you charge, you just get two ghosts. That's pretty cool. Okay, what else can I... I want to try out some of the other moves. We also have Summon Skeleton. Bam! Okay, cool. Uh, oh yeah, I never tried Rock Riot. Also, that sandworm's gone. Yeah, I still don't know how to get up there. That That's pretty confusing to me. Oh yeah, because there's a, there's a room up there that I can't get to. Um, let's see, how does- what does Rock Riot look like? Yeah, that's not bad. That's pretty decent. I think- I think the great thing about, um... The great thing about, um... Charging up the spells is she actually gets to, like, say- like, call out the spell names, which is pretty cool. Anyways, I did not get to go this way. 
there's apparently a uh, there's apparently an area that I can go to, and this might be where the ghosts are. I don't know. This is the problem, is like sometimes like it's hard to tell which area is the correct way to go. Uh, so in like in theory, right? You just do that. And tell that guy to go fuck himself. Yeah, just like slam a bunch of rocks. Oh, we got summon ghost again. You guys are kind of annoying though. And we also get clear skies, a defensive spell that neutralizes ranged attacks. Two thousand bucks. Damn, that's pretty good. Here, let me um probably set up the chat like that. Is this the is this the road with the ghosts or the skulls? Not sure. I gotta kind of wait it out though. So I can either go down or I can go up. Okay, so this I so in actuality this loops back around. This loops back around to where I need to go. So that's kinda interesting. More mummies. So yeah, if if um it doesn't feel that powerful. Kind of a charge force, the tri the charge versions. Yeah, look at that. Summons two of them. So I'm, I'm just kind of messing around with the, the skills. Um. So you could just, like, say fuck you to random attacks. Well, how does Raging Fire look then? Eh, it's not that much stronger. Eh, what about Ice Needle? Wait, no, no, not Ice Needle. It's Ice Fang. It goes farther. Honestly, I, th I still think I think Ice Needle might be the best one, though. Yeah, so I did not come in this room before. Like, just having a shit ton of hitboxes, like, all active at once, is pretty damn good. Actually, can I even get up there? Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> just, just completely destroy that skeleton. Yeah, I don't know if it ever explains anywhere in the game that like, oh yeah, you can charge your spells. I mean, maybe that, maybe, maybe that happens if you talk or something. <laughs> If you call your partner and touch the lower screen, did you know they'll move there? Hmm. I can do that? Oh wow, yeah. Look at that. A thousand blaze. Attack with a hole of knives. Who is that for? Is that one of Jonathan's moves? No. I mean, he has the knee strike. Where is a thousand needles? Hmm. Actually, no, I don't know. I can't see it. Is it a relic? <laughs> it's not a relic, is it? Also, there's not a lot. Of, there's not as many relics as I thought now. Is this all of them? <laughs> what the hell is that equipment that I just got? It's not a weapon, is it? No. Am I stupid? Do I just not see it anywhere? Hmm. Oh, it's a it's a dual crush. 
or yeah, it's a dual move. Let's try it out. <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> that reminds me of that move that I kept spamming with Sakuya and Luna Knights. Maybe it got inspiration from this. I could just have a gun. <laughs> Literally just pull out a gun. Ooh, stone mask. Um can he wear that? It gives him luck, but it lowers his other stats. Eh. So something to sell then. He's freaking fleeman, man, I'll tell you. Oh, she has a lot more voice lines than I thought then, because she's gonna have a voice line for every single, um, like, spell she casts. Kinda cool. Which, um, I go on the wiki, and you'll never guess who she's voiced by. She's voiced by Stephanie Shea, aka the, um, the voice actress for Metis in Persona 3 FES, and Isti in Neptunia. <laughs> So I'm like, wow, look, another another uh, character that she voices in a game that I play. So that's kind of funny. Uh, so I'm hoping I can make it to the save point. Yeah, I just wanted to... Oh yeah, let's call him back so he doesn't get hit by the stupid spinning wheel. Get over here. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Whoops. That's not good. Can I make it to the save point before I die? Um... Actually, I got an idea. <laughs> Kill that skeleton! <laughs> There you go, big brain! See, big brain move right there! See, I wouldn't have known that unless I used the talk function. What else can I learn about? You can unpetrify your fire by attacking them. I did learn that out the hard way. Mm-hmm, your MP goes down. Mm. Yeah, what else what else do I know about? <laughs> Don't you think the subwebs are a little underwhelming? Oh. Yeah, apparently, um Isn't that what is that in the Guides? Skills. Yeah, you see, notice how the, um... Notice how the knife is at 47? And it has a master rate. But also, on the other hand, you can notice that, um, the magic does not have a master meter. Which, you know, to me... That makes me think that magic is better, since you don't have to master it. But maybe, on the other hand, maybe maybe uh, skills are better because you can master them. Walker knife. Oh my god. What, what one do I even have on him? I forget. Oh, I have the walker knife. I haven't been using that. I need to start. What does that do again? Oh. I probably should be using that, though. I don't think I kill anything with it. It's kind of hard to manage both of those, because then you just run out of MP super quickly. Yeah, okay, here. You silly pharaoh. 
Alright, so this is as far as I got last time, so we're actually gonna continue. We might be actually pretty close to the end of this dungeon, not gonna lie. The Armor Knight. Oh, interesting. So the, um... I know, I know something interesting. So, the direction that you start the Ice Needle is the direction that it stays in. Also, we do not want to go down there. Freaking... Freaking mimics, bro. So that's if for some reason you wanted to go back down. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked here. There we go. We got Steel Ball, a very heavy Steel Ball. Yeah, I had to, had to with, it withdrew him automatically since I ran out. Can I not uh, get out this way? I don't know how to get outside the pyramid, honestly. That is some that's some good shit right there. Maybe I should put something on something better than the spear on when I get another weapon for him. Yeah, that that takes really good that makes really good work of those freaking dragons, man. Yeah, you see how that, that knife like barely did anything? Hold on. Um, can't get up there. Um, is there any reason I want to go up here? No. And can I can I go back down here? I want to clear up my map a bit. Which part? How do I clear up the map? There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you really have to work for that extra little square to get filled out. Yeah, here. Alright, you could see so you could really spam like weapons then. Hmm. Should I go right, or should I go up? I'm assuming I want to go up, so... I'm just gonna go down. Oh... Wait, this takes me back down here. Alright, Jonathan, can you go down there? There we go. But I do get royal sandals for that. <laughs> Who the hell is wearing these royal sandals? Ooh, they're not bad, actually. Well, I guess I can give him the uh, combat boots now to increase his strength. So yeah, definitely give him that. Only downside is now I have to go back. But hey, I guess it was worth it for those damn sandals. Anyways, I got to watch three more episodes of Sailor Moon last night. So now I'm almost done with Season 2. I have like, um... Like, four more episodes left, and then I'll be done. Which, uh, hell yeah. Oh, the Pharaoh is back. Okay. <laughs> okay, bye, I'm leaving. No warps?
Alright, let me just get back to where I was. Get out of here, boy. And man, um... I remember when I first started uh, Sailor Moon R, and I, I thought I wasn't gonna like it as much as the originals, the first season. But I think I like I think I like um, Sailor Moon R more now. I really do. I think it's probably just because I like the um, I like the dynamic of Chibiusa being there. Because. Um, I don't know, I mean, in my opinion, just, you know, more characters means more interesting things happening. And I really, I really feel that way, you know, with, uh, her being there. <laughs> and I read a, I read a funny, like, comment somewhere, how it says, like, <laughs> the more you think about it, um, it's pretty impressive how Usagi is able to take care of her, you know, like, you know, frickin' daughter from the future, when she's only like, what, like 15? <laughs> I mean, just think about it, you know, how you feel in a situation like that? Wouldn't it be stressful to have to take care of your future child when you're still in middle school? What the hell is this? What the hell is this demon? Crossbow armor. That's a pretty. That's a pretty cool uh, monster, honestly. Ah, there's too many damn. There's too many damn fleemen, bro. All right. So now that I've been using it a little bit, how is my um block and knife doing? Only sixteen, bro. How the fuck? What is, what is what is even how is it even counting that like do I have to kill something with it or do I just use it? That's what I'm confused about. I'm assuming it's based on how many things you kill. I'm kind of glad I'm not using sub weapons then. Look how weak that shit is. Dead end. Also, I got a new necklace, so is that any good? Necklace that resists curse. Oh, I already have one of those, actually. So I guess I can sell them. Ow. <laughs> well, I got a level up off that guy. Ooh! Glamorous pumps. Well, I just got the royal sandals, so these aren't probably any good. Yeah. But hey, if you need another uh, another footwear, there you go. Ow. Well, it looks like there was just some accessories in this room. It takes a lot longer when you're not using um, the right equipment, or when you're not, when you're not charging the ice needle. I mean, yeah, that is stupidly busted. Uh, do I even? I do I have max uncursed potions? Oh no, I only have five. Okay. I think it would probably say something like, "Oh, your you know curse." Potions are maxed out or something. Oh, we got a teleporter. Um... Well, I guess on the bright side, um... We can go save. Oh, but I gotta deal with the frickin' Pharaoh again. <laughs> Bro just gets like... He just goes into the ground and he goes like, ha. Oh. Let me look at it now. 
It's at 19 now. Okay, and now... Not relics. Oops, not that either. It's at 21. Hmm, there's a room in which many ghosts gather. Defeat the ghosts that appear. I mean, then again, there's, a, there's ghosts in a lot of rooms. I'm not sure what it wants me to do there, exactly. Funny boner. Okay, so I, th I killed another guy. 23. I think it is every- I think it levels up every time you hit an enemy. Don't really know an easy way to test that, though. Hi, bitch. What's an easy enemy to test it out on? I don't know. I guess we'll go up here, though. Yeah, it's getting a little bit darker, oh, so let me open my blinds a bit. <laughs> I did intentionally, um... Close them a bit, because it was kind of sunny, like, it was su the sun was setting, but now... The sun is already going down, so... Let's just let a little bit of that light come in here. Yeah, this skeleton won't work. Hmm. 24. Oh, there's just, there's just a save point right here. <laughs> well, that was a waste to go back there. Okay, so it was 24, and it's still 24, so I think you have to kill it. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you have to kill things with the knife for it to count. Alright, let us... Um, you know what? I'm gonna try out the rock... The rock fall. The rock riot. Oh, we got a fa We got a freaking pharaoh. Oh, is he charmed right now? Do I have, like, an uncharmed potion or something? I got fucked. <laughs> hey, Pac-Man. <laughs> Pac-Man's just gonna be, like, smug every time I die, bro. Okay, well, maybe I don't want my partner out for this boss. I mean, I technically don't want partners. Oh, I still have Ice Needle on. Yeah, Ice Needle doesn't do anything. I'm getting my ass kicked again. Yep. <laughs> she just like she just like waltzes on past my freaking rock, bro. I mean that damage is pretty good. Bro, I got freaking stun locked. I couldn't open the menu. Let's try that again. Okay. Um. Yeah, let me, let me save after putting on the rock. The, the walk. Or I could just do my super attack right off the bat. 
<laughs> That's not bad. Yeah, I guess she just walks. She just walk walks forward most of the time. Most of the time, you can just. Oh fuck. Damn, my rocks didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting my ass kicked again. <laughs> Look how much more damage it does, though, if you charge it up. Fuck. Gonna be using all my potions. You know, what? eat the pumpkin pie. Yeah. Uh, I got some tonics. Let's use them. <laughs> I keep getting walked into. Yeah, like I only do one damage. Got him. He got pixelated. There we go. Soloed that boss by myself. So, where does this take me now? Okay, well, obviously, after that, I'm gonna switch. Um. Gale Force. Raging Fire. Nah, I think the Ice Needle's still one of the best ones. I mean, unless I just want familiars. Frickin' Flea Man, get out of here. Increases pushing power. Okay, so yeah, this is, this is something we need for the castle, then. White Dragon. Hey, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I will unlock the true potential of the Waka Knife. I don't know. It would be pretty cool if I did, but we got the whole game for that, really. I feel like you know you should just pick. You know, just pick, um, an ability you want to stick with, and then try to master it. At least that's what I think. Oh yeah, there's also something up there. I don't know how to get up there. That's probably how you get that, um, that item up there, though. Those gold knuckles. Here I come, rubber the knuckles. That's one way to use the knife. So, I mean, the smart way to play would be to, um, like... Oh, he gone. <laughs> the smart way would be to, like, spam magic and sub-weapons at the same time. Which, uh, to me, sounds like a pretty cool way to play the game. The maids are back. Okay, so where can we go now? There was some area that I could go where I need to be able to push more. I don't remember where that was, though. It was like, oh, I mean, let's just 
go back to the start, maybe. And we'll have a look around the castle then. Because at least there's a lot of teleporting points in this game. There, if I remember something like Circle of the Moon, there wasn't that many. If I remember correctly. Well, actually... Yeah, what you could do... You could use your magic on all the weak enemies and get free points from it. In theory, yeah, you could do that. Mmm. There was that one area up there that I couldn't get to. I'm a bit... I'm trying to remember what was up here. I guess I never completed that quest. I don't know what the fuck it wants me to do with that quest. Oh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait, we can't do that. We can do this now. Hang on. Yeah, so whatever this is, we can get it now. Because we have the ability to push things. We can get the webula. <laughs> or no, no, it's the nebula. But that was a webula, like, oh, it's like a web and a nebula. A chain that binds and destroys evil. Well, how does that control? Damn, that range! That is some- that is some insane range, what the shit? I love it. Okay, we can- we can go over here now, too, I think. Actually, we never went over here, I don't think. I said, like, we'll save this- we'll save this for another time. Ow, what the fuck? Oh, damn, okay, that- that, like, really fucks me up. Hold on, hold on, hold on I'm leaving. Let me- let me recuperate. Am I cursed? Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, shit. Wait, I'm also cursed, though. I got cursed and poisoned. Oh, okay. It just pushed- it just pushed me. Okay, I guess we're not fighting these enemies, then. plate. Better than the copper plate. Why is the copper- why is the copper green, though? Why does it look like that? I still have the frilly candy soul. Ooh, they're tanky. Let's try that again. Damn, these Liliths are tanky! <laughs> How am I gonna be able to kill these damn Liliths? Oh, they have one health left. Hey, John, they get up here. Kill, kill, kill the Lilith! I hate these- I hate these crossbow knights, actually. They're kind of annoying. Skeleton flail. Actually, the Lilith might be, like, immune to ice. That might be why I wasn't doing any damage to them. Huh. Silent sandals. More of those are nice. Okay, so we can also go up. Let's see what we got here. Oh, more of the funny white dragons. They have really annoying hitboxes, though. <laughs> hey. 
Although I remember these guys, the frickin' th musket zombies. Or skeleton gun man. Yeah, musket zombies cool. Uh, money that I cannot get yet. Unless there's like a billy that turns me into like a cat or something that lets me crawl through spaces, which you know what? I wouldn't put it past this game. Yeah, I hear. Ooh! Ricochet Rock. A weapon that bounces after hitting walls. Also, I'm out of potions. Well, shit. Hmm. I have so many weapons already. Look at that. Oh, there's a dress up here. The sequined dress. Oh, yeah, that's definitely better. Lowers my mind a bit, though. It kind of sucks. Eh, whatever. I'll put it on. Oh, yeah, can't go that way. Nope, not dealing with that. Yeah, the problem is that the, the knife uses up so much ammo. That's kind of my problem with it. Alright, so we can check out what's down here. This looks like it loops back around, actually. Hill guards. Well, hey, look, we found those guys again. I'm trying to look for the next, uh, like, the next, like, warp slash save point. Also, I saw a magic spell here. Ooh, strength boost. What happens if I char- can I charge it? Yeah, I can. Well, and then what, ha what happens if I switch to a different one? Do I keep the buff? No, I don't. It's only when you have Strength Boost active. Well, how long is this temporary boost? It's doing 30 to these guys. Well, I'd need to compare. Oh, we're hey, hang on, we're back here now. Actually, no, we we haven't been here yet. Oh boy, more Uka backs. Hey, I mean, I guess increasing my strength isn't bad. Why do I feel like we've been here, but I haven't yet? Well, either way, we can make progress. Oh, yeah. So, I was chatting in the Starrod Discord server today. And I was showing off Down Bad Edition a little bit. And one guy, like, was actually, like, pretty impressed with it. And he was, uh, sharing some code with me. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, that's pretty dope. So, it turns out that, you know, that people actually kind of are kind of in, like, a demand for more Paper Mario 64 hacks. I'll make you a deal. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. I forgot these cost a lot. There, I am already maxed out. Um... I'm gonna sell something. Oh, yeah, um, sell the Partisan and the Copper Plate now. We don't need that. We can sell the frimmy, frilly camisoles, because they'll sell for a lot. Glasses. <laughs> bandana. Wait, I think I'm wearing the bandana right now. Oh, yeah, we can sell the stone masks. They'll sell for a decent amount. Uh, Clover Tiara, we don't need that. The combat boots we're keeping. Iron leggings we can sell. Glamorous pumps. 
Don't need that. We don't need silent sandals. We don't need two charm necklaces. Although it does increase my ma it does increase my mag my mind by ten apparently. I saw one. Cape we have on right now. Crystal necklet. Low brooch. We don't need that. I think I'm wearing these two right here. Now I just have too much money. <laughs> There, is there no castle map 3? Is there any reason to buy the blank book? Oh, Miko dress. It gives you a lot of mind. Hmm. Is that worth it? I mean, it does give you a lot of magic defense, so there is that. I could also buy the silk hat. Mmm, pearl ring. Oh yeah, right, the master ring. Holy mantle. A long cape. Now that... That is actually good for him. Forget me not. You know, let's buy, the, let's buy a holy mantle. And, um... Buy... These weapons. I'll buy the dart, I guess. Wait, why can't you buy multiple of them? Why why are you able to buy that? Weird. Thank you. Okay, let's give him uh Oh, we don't even yeah, you don't even have the holy mantle on. Uh bandana, he still has that. And where did I find the block at night? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize the charm necklace gives me five magic defense. I mean, that's pretty decent. Hmm. Honestly, I'll put it on. I mean, resisting curse is pretty nice, too. I think that's everything. There's nothing better than the morning veil, I guess. You're back. Alright, so yeah, Ghost of the Desert's not getting finished, I guess. But let's see you enter this command. <laughs> right down, left, right, Y. This is your training. Uh go and come back when you've been cursed. This is your training. I have to go get, I have to go get cursed somewhere. I mean, I know where to get cursed. I think. So what was the command? Not that. Uh, quests. Right down, right down, left, right, Y. Right down, left, right, Y. That's not the Y. That's not the Y button. Hang on, let's see. I don't think that's it. <laughs> right down. Or okay, forward down, back, forward. Forward down, back, forward. Oh. So... So he just te he just teaches me that? Oh, I learn it, okay. So I can just do that whenever I want? I don't know how practical that's gonna be, but sure, I, I did it, I learned it. Cool. I learned a new thing. That's like that's like it's like, that's even more complicated than a fucking you know Fatal Fury move, dude. Why does it have to be so complicated? Hmm. To be fair, I never did progress in the castle that much.
die made. I mean, look how much frickin' MP that wasted. Come on, Maze, it's time to go. Yo, I got pudding! Let's go. Neptune will be proud of that. <laughs> if, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna finish if I'm gonna finish this game in like or I'm gonna do like three hour streams of this game, you know, who knows? I might get it finished in like four episodes or something. I don't know. What was stopping me from uh ow? What stopped me from going up again? I don't think I I, I think it's dead ass, I just never went up for some reason. Wow, okay, this attack increase is actually a lot better than I thought. I see you. I can circumcise penises. 60 damage though, damn. Oh, I got another ricochet rock. This gives me goggles, which I'm guessing aren't that great. Um, I could give it to him, I guess. It gives him plus one defense. Never mind, that sucks. Because all of his other stats get loaded. Loaded? Lowered. <laughs> How long does this strength boost last for, anyway? Seems to last for quite a while, actually. Boost mind temporarily. So I can just increase my mag defense at will. I think it boosts, I think like charging it just increases how long the buff lasts for or something. There's so many freaking enemies here, dude. So, there's so many friggin' enemies in this room. It's kinda cool, honestly. How many of these is it gonna take to kill these bastards? I need to heal again. Hey, you know, let's heal up our MP, too. Well, at this point, I don't need any, uh, magic. I can just boost my strength. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to play the game. Okay, we're back here again. We've- we've looped around. So we've not been here. What the hell? Pitbull! Why is there just a Pitbull demon in here? My strength seems to... Okay, when you ch when you don't charge it, it doesn't seem to last for very long, but... Aha, see, we can go here now. Um, oh, that is not permanent. Okay, never mind, it is permanent. The Tower of Death. Bro, oh, I, I was charging. Leave me alone. <laughs> the skeleton gun man is a great. Do the web can go upwards? That's freaking sick. Oh, we got a warp. 
Um. Well, let me see. Is there a safe point to the left here? No, there's a boss there. Uh, we just started, and there's already a boss. Okay, well, I think the closest save is right here, in the Great Stairway. What? Only problem is we have to go through these maze first. Yeah, I mean, honestly, shouldn't, shouldn't just pay attention to the numbers, you know? Should also pay attention to the actual functionality of the, um, the weapon. Like, the nebula going multiple angles is pretty damn sick. Alright, ignore, ignore more maids. Well, unless you can. Freaking sneeze attack, man, I'm telling you. Well, I don't know what I'm telling you. I mean, it's, it's nice as it is, it is. The strength boost is just not that fun to use. I mean, it's. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's all right, like. <laughs> all right. Well, now I saved. So. Hello, out of curiosity, what is up here? Oh, this is some clock tower bullshit. Oh, yeah, I just save point right here. Every freaking time, bro. Okay, let's go. Let's see what this boss is all about. Is it gonna be death? I've grown tired of waiting. Show yourself, vampire. Watch your tongue, mortal. I held back with my father present, but here you're as good as dead. I find it strange you come here alone. Well, it simplifies things. I alone will take care of you. I'll tear you apart, limb by limb, then wring all the blood from your bodies. Well, her voice is way deeper than I was expecting. All right, let's uh, let's use a good old tonic. Ow, Jesus, bro! All right, I got. I gotta be careful because if I get hit too much, um, yeah, I won't be able to. I won't be able to cast my spells. Oh, she's talking like weird crescent moons. Yeah, yeah, get rid of that BS. Crescent Moon. <laughs> She's kind of putting random BS around the arena. Yeah, yeah, with that nonsense, I'm almost dead. Fucking hell. the hell? That I killed her? What happened to me? You're finished. My head. 
Are you alright, sister? I I'm fine, Loretta. You were warned out not to leave the painting. You may scold me later. These two are a threat to father. We must take care of them now. No, for now we return. Hear me, both of you. If you continue to oppose father, we'll show you no mercy. Oppose us and we'll kill you. What's this? It's like a locket. There's a photo inside. Oh. This is wind. And those two vampire girls. What does it mean? I have no idea. We should go ask him about it. Yeah, good idea. Well, I'll do that right after I get me a drink. Gamer. Alright. So, I had an idea for when I was gone. Um, I was thinking, what if we took a little break and we look up uh, some of the things that were changed about this game in the Dominus Collection? Because I am kind of curious to see what, like, I'd be missing out on. So, let's see. Um, Portrait of Ruin Dominus Collection versus DS. Uh, sure, I found a Reddit post about it. Perfect. Alright, let's see. Um... Hmm... Okay, never mind. This, this Reddit post doesn't tell me jack shit. Mm. I have to read like a freaking like game review, like a journal to figure out to figure out what's changed. Um Okay, you know, how about we just read this instead? It says, if you're curious as to how the Dominus Collection takes dual screen games and puts them on a single screen. The solution is both elegant and restrictive. By default, the collection uses a three-screen setup. The main gameplay is displayed on the left in the largest window, while just to, to the right are this current area's map and your character's status stacked on top of each other. You can swap their vertical orientation by pressing the minus button every time you want. Though this won't make either screen bigger, they are pretty small and might be difficult to read in the Switch's portable mode. So you have other screen layouts to choose from. Okay, so if you, if you guys want to get an idea on what the uh, Dominus Collection looks like, it, um, it looks a little something like this. So it's kind of similar to what I'm doing, where, you know, you have your, um, like, stats and map on the, like, in the corner. Which, yeah, it's like I was saying, I think that is one of the things it does pretty well. But what else can we do? I was curious about a game-by-game -game basis, though. Uh, let's see. Controller rebinding. Um, being able to assign each button to an action is amazing, yet you can't assign every action to every button. For example, the default, by default, the collection's pause menu is on ZL with the back dash on L. Huh. Oh right, the pause menu for the collection. Yeah, the collection the collection has its own pause menu, that's right. Forgot about that. Hmm. Is there any other is there any other information I can find about this? What if I just look up Portrait of Ruined Dominus Collection, then? Maybe I can find information about that. Um... Let's see...
Mm. Well, I'm still trying to find some information about this. It's not as uh, prevalent as I thought. I don't know. I can't find any information about, like, how the touchscreen stuff works. Oh, yeah, I think I actually remember. I know, at least for Dawn of Sorrow, I do know what that's like. In Dawn of Sorrow, it's apparently like a button combination. Huh, this door doesn't look like it'll open. Guess it's a dead end. It looks like there's some sort of power source. There must be a way to open it. We just had to figure out how. Hmm, that indentation. Let's look somewhere else for now. Huh, weird. I keep wondering why, um, Charlotte, like, flashes sometimes for no reason. And my- I think it's- it has to do with the fact that, um... I think it has to do with her, um, like, having max magic or something? I don't know. Oh, okay, now we have- now we have the frickin' clock tower. Yeah, with Medusa heads. Konami loves- Konami loves clock towers and Medusa heads, almost as much as Fatless loves milking Persona 5. Hm. Oh, wait, how do I get in there? How do I get in- how do I get that- how do I get that ability? Oh yeah, you do not want to get knocked back by the frickin' Medusa heads. Because they, they will slam you into those damn spikes, man. Oh my god. See, this is a great- this, would be, this is a great place to have, um... This is a great place to have Ice Needle. So I can just, you know... Shoot she in front of me. A tempest, summon a, a storm of violent winds. Okay, but now the problem is how the fuck do I get out of here? Do I need to summon Jonathan to get out of here? I don't know how to get out of here now. <laughs> Am I stuck? <laughs> Oh yeah, right, he's a high potion. Can't get out now. Maybe I have to have a, a Medusa head knock me back or something. Well, obviously not like that. I can't get out. I can't get out of this. I'm st I, I might- I might have to reset. Oh wait. No. No, I, I got it, but I fucking died. God damn it. So it is possible to get out there. It's just fucking pixel perfect. Shiza. Okay, no, we can totally- we can totally get that. Let's try that again. I need I need you to stand over here though. And not get shoved into the spikes. <laughs> Motherfucker.
There. Okay. I'm gonna go save after getting that, because that is really annoying to get, actually. But I have it now. I have Tempest. And we'll, uh, we'll try it out. We'll see what it does. Ooh! It's like a little shield, almost. I don't like that. What the fuck? Hmm. I can't do anything about this. Um. No, just for shits and giggles, let's see if the ice fang will work. Nope. You can't get over there. So, is this a dead end for me now? Hmm. Actually, I don't think this is a dead end. I think there was another pathway over here. Oh, buddy, it's about wraps for you. Never mind, I can't get in there. So, what am I supposed to do? Alright, well, do oh yeah, you need to go talk to Win, don't you? I mean, they just said, like, oh, go talk to him. So that's probably what we're supposed to do. But yeah, the little quests are optional, so you don't have to do them. But it bugs me when I don't do every single one. Kind of like Elizabeth's requests. Wind, what's the meaning of this? Look at this photo! Ugh. You owe us an explanation! Indeed I do. Let me tell you my real name. It's Eric. Eric Lacard. You don't mean the man who fought by my father? Yes, John was my best friend. Then what's your relationship with the two girls in the photo? They're my daughters. Hold on a sec. Aren't they Bronner's daughters? Bronner lost his real daughters in World War I. His anger and grief awakened this hidden power which he used to become a vampire. He used to became a vampire. Oh, I think that's uh I think that's a typo. <laughs> so his daughters He believed the daughters he lost in the war were reborn as my daughters. So he kinda just stole them from you? His daughters were his life. Now that he has them back, he wants to punish the humans whose war ruined his life. I see. That's why the whips started acting up in front of those two. It's because they carry the blood of the Lacard family. Of course, the vampire killer. Eric, if you fought by Jonathan's father, then you must know how to unlock the vampire killer's power. Yes, I do know, but if you know, then tell me, what should I do? In order for the Morris family to use the vampire killer, you need the power of the Lacard family, but I can't help you. And of course, now that my daughter's been used to turn to vampires, so in the end the whip is useless. I guess my being its hair is just the emptiest, most meaningless title of all. I was forbidden to tell you this, but I think the time has come. The reason your father died, I know why he died. They say he was mortally wounded when he stopped Dracula's resurrection. Even I know that was the cause. You're wrong. For one who is not of the Belmont family, to use the true power of the Vampire Killer, they must give up a part of their own life. That's why my family acts as the power's key, so that it can only be used when truly necessary. John used the whip too much. 
So what are you saying? You mean my father died because of this whip? Exactly. Which is why he didn't want to teach you how to use it. He wanted you to develop the strength to survive without using the whip. No matter how much you might hate him for doing that, in the end he was only looking out for you. You may not yet wield the whip like a Belmont, but that power can be yours. I know that John had his reasons. Okay, so that is, um... It's kind of interesting that they're both called Jonathan Mor- Well, it's John Morris and Jonathan Morris. Is that, is that how it goes? Father. I knew there was a reason. Aren't you glad, Jonathan? I just don't get it. Why did the Belmonts give this thing to the Morris family? If not for this, we would have been sp spared so much pain. Because the Belmonts cannot touch the whip now. It's predicted that Dracula will be revived in year 1999. I've heard the Belmonts must not touch the vampire kill until then. But... Others have appeared to revive Dracula in the meantime. Somebody has to stand up and stop them. So the Morris family are like, you know, picking up the Belmont slack? Is, is that what's going on here? And only the Morris family is able to do that. Oh, well then. At least I finally know the truth about my father and the whip. Still, are you okay with this? This job they have to do is going to end up hurting your own daughters. I wonder if there's a chance we can save those two if I use some kind of purification spell. The chances are very slim. You should know that. Even I never knew how to do it. I appreciate your sentiments, but I'm resigned to their fate. I see. Forgive us, Jonathan, for placing this burden upon you. No problem. I'll just do what I can. And if you've accepted it, so do I. Let's go, Charlotte. Right. You want to find new quests for me? Holy appearance! Charlotte, I'll teach you a healing spell. Come back wearing three nun items? <laughs> what? You're back. Also, I pressed the wrong button. This is your training. Number of fortune. Come back when the last three digits of your money are set. Oh my god, these are so stupid, bro. Go reduce your MP and come back. What do you mean, reduce your MP? Hold on. I got this. Someone was saying, like, that the spells in this game are stupid. Or, like, the, the quests in this game are really stupid. And, you know what? I see why now. How am I how am I gonna reduce my magic that fast? Alright, I'm reducing my magic. There I did it. You're back. <laughs> I, I did it. Done. Now your spirit should be able to handle it. Max MP increased. Ooh. Go find the thick glasses. Wait, fuck, I had the thick glasses, but I sold them. Damn it. Now I gotta find those again. Maybe I shouldn't sell everything I find then, because he might ask for some random ass accessory. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, I had the glasses and I lost them. Yeah, these quests are really stupid. Hey, more, more MP's nice. Well, MP increases each time you level up, right? Do I have anything else I can buy? Ugh. Oh yeah, potions. Oops. Yeah, uh, I could buy high potions now. Wait, pow- did I just see that right? Powdered milk? Perfect for supplementing calcium take. Why is it 573 gold? Oh, Castle Map 3. Oh, look at that. Mm, Emerald Corset. Oh, that's for her, I guess. These each do a different thing. This increases intelligence. That might be one of the better ones. It lowers strength, though, but it does increase defense. That might be worth getting, honestly. Silk negligee sunglasses. 
Well, yeah, there's sunglasses, but not, you know, the good kind. Wing tips. Ooh, I can give him better, uh, better shoes. Prima shoes. Ooh, those aren't bad. Alright, what can I sell now? Um... What am I wearing again? I'm wearing... Oh, I'm wearing the charm necklace and the crystal necklace. I can sell the diamond brooch now. Mm. So yeah, this gives me... 6 defense and 3 intelligence, which is pretty good. That'll make my magic stronger. Let's sell the, um... Let's sell the... That's what I'm wearing right now. Sell this dress now. Um, sell the goggles. Sell the... Um... I think all this... Oh yeah, sell the uh, diamond brooch. That sells for a decent amount. Thank you. Alright, so I think I have an idea where we need to go. I mean, there is one place we can go, I know that. Actually, a couple places. So, let's just go exploring. Actually, let's take the teleporter. I think it'll get us closer to that area. Man, the sprite art in this game is still great as ever. So yeah, oh, okay, we gotta go through here again, though. Oh yeah, right, I was gonna put on a different thing. What does what's the Uncharged Tempest look like? Oh yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty mid, honestly. Tempest might be good for bosses, but not, um, regular enemies, because I like, I like to keep the pace going, so... We'll do Ice Needle. Yeah, get out of here. Who's letting all these damn maids run around? Okay, I need to. That, that joke's not funny anymore. I don't even think that ever was funny. Ow. What was stopping me from coming up here anyway? I don't think anything was stopping me from coming up here. I don't- I just think I deadass never came up here. Oh, bye, Bulldog. Got more flails. Ooh, I got a Morning Star. Mmm. So it's like- it's a- it's a, like an Oprah the Head weapon, I'm assuming. Dang it. Ooh, max HP up. I just got that for free. I don't know how much HP I got. But I sure got it. Gate corset? Wait a minute. <laughs> Is that better than what I'm wearing right now? Oh, it's a weaker version of the Emerald Corset. So I actually could have come here. I could have come here earlier, but no, I just chose not to. Okay, I gotta go up there. Hill Guard. Yeah, here's Skellarang. Well, apparently I've been in this room already. I just don't think I explored all of it. I never explored the bottom floor. Hang on a sec. There's a thing up there. Another ricochet rock. 
Helm of Arms 2. Mm, oh wow, that's pretty good. You look at that! Look at that, that's amazing! Now her strength is even better. I mean, the, the horse is pretty cool, but... I don't know, man. Also, there's just some... Eh. Just making a little air noise, because I maxed it out. There we go. Okay, well, I can tell you what I can do. Uh, we can try and get up there. That might be tricky. Let's, let's see. Boom. Almost. I can totally get up there. Come on. There we go. Let's just use one of our potions and then grab this one. Well, here's the thing. These areas just loop back around to each other. So what do I actually get out of coming here? Monocle. <laughs> this is that, for, is that for Jonathan? A lens for one eye favored among distinguished gentlemen. Look at all the still stats that get lower, though. Like, goddamn. He's not even a magic user, so what's the point? And I can't get over there. Okay, so dead ass. There's nothing for me to do in this here, in this room here. I need to, I need to go the long way around now. All right. Well, we're gonna go the long way around and get back there. I mean, at least we can push this now. I like this song. This song is a vibe. Whoops. <laughs> Just kill those damn- those damn skeletons. I still can't get up there. I still have to push this stupid statue. Oh, fuck. Now it goes really fast. Now, what's the logic there? Being able to ba being able to bounce off your friend's shoulders there, huh? Okay, so in actuality, we want to go right here. And watch out for the Liliths. Yes, I gotta level up. Let's go. Yes! I think the Liliths are resistant to ice. Okay, so let's go down this time. This is the one area I never went to. I think what this does is actually open up a shortcut. Yeah, let me open up this shortcut. Boom. He has no wall to set up against anymore. Okay, so that's marked off. There's only one other area I can go to, and it's up. Actually, there is technically an area I can go to. Maybe that's the next area in the game, I don't know.
Man, he she just really doesn't like cows. What's wrong? What's wrong with the milk, man? The milk's good. So I, I never went up here. I'm not sure why I didn't come up here. It says there's a warp point here that I could have had all this time. Are you telling me there's a save point up here, too? No, th there's a painting here. Oh, shit. Never would have guessed this is where I need to go next. Oh, so they got a save, a painting, and a warp all in the same place. Alright, I guess we're going to the next painting. Are you fucking shaming me? There's a circus in here now? Nation of Fools. I guess Adachi lives here. <laughs> I don't think it's full on circus. This is some very, uh, what is this song? There's a, there's a song in Symphony that reminds me of this. I forgot what it's called. I don't remember what it's called, though. Oh, there's the clowns. There's the killer clowns. This is pretty. This is actually. I mean, kind of cool. It's like. A, it's also like. Um, it's not just a circus. It's also like um, a destroyed city. <laughs> so that's pretty dope. No, can't go up there. Can I not hurt that? Can I destroy? Can I not break these? Funny fire skulls. An odd place for a statue of the Virgin Mary. Am I supposed to be able to double jump up there? Alright, let's, let's duck. The double, the double, the double, triple jump? It's kind of like a triple jump, if anything. Man, those slimes are still hella tanky. Oh. I mean, I definitely like... This is definitely more of a breath of fresh air compared to the desert. I mean, nine times out of ten, I, I don't want to see a desert in games. Okay, so now shit's flipped, like, a different direction. I don't know why it's sideways, it just kind of is. And there's a save point here. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm kind of confused on what's a platform and what isn't. <laughs> Oh, I got a uh, moon brooch. Moon crystal power makeup. <laughs> um, is it better than a crystal necklace? Um, it gives more luck. Shines bright with the light of the moon. Sure. And there's also Stella's locket. Oh, that's the thing she dropped. It's an accessory. You know what? I have a feeling that you're probably supposed to wear both lockets to the final boss or something. That's like such a Castlevania thing to do. Alright, so the question is... Am I supposed to go up here? More flaming! I'm not exactly sure what the correct way to go is. Also, I got a fedora! 
and it is. Can I, I, I'll, I'll put it on. Can I go over here? It's kind of hard to tell which part, which like where I can go and where I can't go. Fine armor. Damn. That was pretty hard. Where can, where can I go in this place? Wait, hang on. It says there's a... It says there's a... It says I can go up here. Oh, over there, obviously. This place is a mindfuck. This looks like somewhere you'd go at the end of, like, Ari of Sorrow or something. Can I even get into the middle there? I don't think I can get in there yet. We got sideways Medusa heads. And they kind of hurt. Yeah, here's sideways Medusa heads. The AVGM will have a field day with the sideways Medusa heads, that's for sure. Oh, we also got a tonic, which I can't use right now. What's this enemy? Papelia. I'm just gonna... Keep going right, or up, down, whatever, where the hell it is. This place sure is a mindfuck. Oh, and I took a lot of damage there. Hmm. Can I kill this guy real quick? Or not, or I can go off screen. Okay, there's just a save point chilling in here? Bro, this place is so weird. This just looks like the place that I started from. We got a great potion. Spittle bones. Oh wait, this is a wait. Hang on. Yeah, it, it it is pretty hard to tell where to go though in this place. I won't lie. Now looks like kind of feels like there should be an item there. Well, and some houses are just diagonal. The silk hat. That's just a better fedora. <laughs> okay. So much for that, then. I got an upgrade immediately. No. I don't want to play. I need to heal. There's a dancer's blouse. Better than the emerald corset? No. But I guess it's good if he didn't get the emerald blouse already, or the, em the emerald blouse. The Emerald Corset already. This, this feels like I'm going in one big circle. Okay, go up 
there. I'm doing it the wrong way. It's both a good thing and a bad thing that I can go in one specific direction. Harpy. Bye, Harpy. <laughs> so, I think we're just looping back around to the start. Okay, never mind, we're not. Wait, yes we are. Well, I'm glad it's not just a full-on circus, it's a circus with a ruined city aesthetic, and you're kinda neat. So I can go up? I think I know where that leads. Let's go this way first. Because we know where- okay, so that leads back down here. Hang bones. Yeah, because clowns are definitely scary, guys. Is there anything even here? Oh, yeah, right here. Again? Okay, now we're back at the start again. Okay, so we know where everything goes now. It's nice, it's nice to work on, just slightly work on Down Bad Edition every day. Like, even if I don't get, like, a crap ton of progress done, it always feels great to get at least a little something done. You know, when it's like a couple lines of script, some painting, etc. I like doing that. Oh, teleporter. Nice. Okay, so... We're gonna go up now. I'm assuming this takes us... Where that middle area is. Watch out for these weird hatchets. Or you can just get hit a bunch. Bro, I keep hitting like a ceiling, dude. Oh my god, this is annoying. Can I stand here? Oh yeah, I can. Somehow I'm safe here. Oh, never mind, I'm not. Okay, yeah, you're down. Then you're wasting all my MP. Is this actually where you're supposed to go? Hey, look, spaghetti. Spaghetti. Love all the funny foods you can pick up. Pasta carbonara. Oh, my favorite. I love that shit. They just randomly have spaghetti. Two rooms for spaghetti. Wait a minute. Shit, that just takes me back here now. Oh, that's what take me to the center. But this actually doesn't take me to the center at all. How the fuck do I get there then? Maybe a secret wall or something, I don't know. Maybe? Okay, so where have I not been yet? Well, I see two different pathways I haven't been yet. I wonder what that gold gear is all about.
Oh yeah, right, flying armor. So I can go up, which I never did. We can deal with more flea men. Nobody wants to deal with flea men. They make funny noises though, they go like bloop bloop bloop. Oh, there's a HP max up here. And then I think that's everything here. Don't mind me coming through. Let's save again. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to go left? I'm just go left here. And then I can go up. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm still like massively confused by this area. It's funny stock circus noises. <laughs> Pretty sure they use that exact sound effect in Paper Mario. Get out of here. There's also an area down here. It's kind of hard to notice this shit. Oh, I think this takes me back down here. Okay. So you have two different routes you could take, I guess. You, you can either deal with flea men or you can deal with circus circus performers. <laughs> Whichever one suits your fancy more, I guess. Well, that was a waste. Yeah, I'm really. Oh, wait, wait, there's a weapon there. Long spear. Is that any good, though? Holy shit, 52 attack. Is it any good though? It's not bad. The range is okay and everything. You know, I'll probably make a save state for that. Yeah, I keep accidentally pressing the uh, right trigger, but that just speeds up the game. That doesn't actually make him throw the sub weapon. I need to keep that in mind. Yeah, you hear. Fucking cheese is clown, let's go. I love cheese. I. I love cheese and clown. Sounds like a very dirty sentence somehow. Yeah, what is that? Corn soup? Let's play, play dies. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I just wanted to see what was here. So this is the real way to progress. 
Oh boy, there's upside down flea men now. Perfect way to kill flea men. Um, you know what? Let's eat a pudding bucket. Holy shit, that's a full heal. For now, anyway. I remember when I found, like, generic healing items in Circle of the Moon, and they were, like, super useful there. Rotten Durian. I'm guessing you don't want to eat that. Has introduced you to a whole new world of unpleasant odors. Probably sick, makes you sick or something, I don't know. Well, yeah, it reminds me of that ability in, um, Ari of Sorrow. Which allows you to eat, like, rotten food or something, and it makes you like it. And then you have, like, a new healing option, which is, like, really silly. Okay, so now we're, now we're upside down. So I think I'm understanding how this level works. The map itself is like 360. Volcano? Summon an erupting volcano. Okay, what do we have down here? Huh. Where am I going? This is a weird ass level, man. And apparently I can go over here. Ooh, MP Max. Yeah, you clown. I do find it, I do find it interesting that this um, the game has like a lot of voice acting for like random enemies. It's very odd. Okay, yeah, we're back here again. Let's check out what's over here first. We got uh, is that a nun? I can't even get that, dude. How do I get the nun outfit? I don't know if I knew if I knew you'd need like the, like ex like to keep your accessories on you. Oh, javelin, a throwing spear that sticks into the ground. Is that a is that something for her? No. I think I think he just throws a javelin or something. Oh, I got another long spear. The longness spear. Oh god, I'm getting Persona 2 flashbacks now. The freaking longness spear that like disables your persona for like three turns. And it actually sucks. Spiked boots. Are those any good? Boots that deal extra damage when kicking. <laughs> wow. I mean, maybe those are good for Jonathan? I don't know. Nope. He doesn't kick, though. Again, it seems extremely, extremely situational. The fire skulls. Alright, what we got down here? It says there's something down here. Oh. Then we get to explore the rest of this place. I think I'm gonna be go I think I'm going in a circle now. Something over here. 
This is just gonna take me back to where I was earlier. Yep. No doubt. Well, the map says there's something down there. Hold on. Let's try going down. Because this apparently will take me, um... This clears out my map a bit more. Oh, look, a HP up. And I think that's everything here. Okay, I'm looking at my map. I don't see anything else besides that one place. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here before more circus performers start showing up. My worst nightmare, circus performers. I don't know why my eyes get so tired playing this game. It's weird. Maybe it's because it's dark out or something. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to go up. It's gonna take a hot second. So, do I have anything interesting to talk about? Hmm, that's the problem. I don't really have too much interesting to talk about. Like, I, I don't I don't really talk about me editing that much, because I just haven't really been in the mood to edit this, that much these days. Probably because I'm working on Down Bad Edition, and that's kind of been my, you know, what I spend my editing time on. I mean, ha ROM hacking is, uh, you know, a pretty big deal. Especially when you're working on it all alone. It can take up a lot of time. Like, it really does. But at the same time, it's also really fun. It has it has that same addictive quality that um hack like modding does of like hacking like for say Smash Bros. It has that same addicting quality. Yeah, I can't get in there unless I uh, have like a the ability to like shorten my hitbox. Don't know if I'm gonna get that as an ability later, though. Oh. Alright, this better lead somewhere. Oh. Use your weapon's critical move with dash, or with forward, forward, and Y. No, that's not Y. Or is that a Jonathan only thing? Let me see. Yeah, I don't think uh, she can do that. Oh, we got a save here. But how exactly does getting a critical move help me? I don't know. I think it's just you're just kind of there. You kind of a free thing you get. This area was a lot shorter than the desert, though. Probably because of how open ended it was. Hmm. The last thing I killed was the armor knight, apparently. Hmm. So we need 3,431 for the next level up, apparently. Alright. Here's an idea. Let's try out the, um... Let's try out Tempest for this fight. We'll see how this goes. Cog. Oh, god damn it. I somehow knew this thing was gonna pop up sooner or later. Yep, 
mean, for this boss, it's pretty decent. Yeah. The Legion. And not the Grand Faloon. Yeah, that is really good for melting the shield off. Hmm. Yeah, good question. Will it work from down here? No. Okay. Drink some tonic then. And I guess the rest of the, um... You know what? Jonathan can deal with the shield. Ow. I hate that he gets stunned like that, that's pretty annoying. I don't think you actually have to destroy all the shield, but... It just feels more satisfying to do that. Oh, it actually does still hit hit it. Just barely. Alright, do your big funny laser. Okay, I guess he doesn't want to do this. He doesn't want to do it. Oh, now he's getting serious. He's getting cereal. Yeah, th this move is pretty damn good. Damn, that was piss easy. Easiest Legion fight of my life. <laughs> Alright, cool, but what does that accomplish? I don't know. Cool though, we have um we basic we basically did everything here. You know what, I guess it makes sense that the frickin' Legion will be in the circus level. <laughs> makes a little too much sense if you ask me. So I basically 100 percent of this area. There's like one square on the bottom left that I didn't get, but whatever. <laughs> That's about it, really. So, let's go back to the start. I think that's everything in this room. Alright, back to Dracula's castle. Oh, no, I'm not gonna 100% the map. I'm just gonna try and get as much of it as possible. So what can we do now that we beat that? Oh, hello. Hello, Skeletons. Out of curiosity, how is my... Dude, my block and knife is only 58 out of 1,000? Dude, it's, you're never gonna be able to frickin', um... You'll never be able to frickin' max it out at this point. Alright, I still have Tempest on. That was really fucking good for the boss, though. I'm pretty impressed with that. I mean, I haven't really gotten a lot of new spells. And how many bosses are gonna use, um... How many bosses are gonna use, like, projectiles against me, right? Dang it. I don't know, if you ask me, I feel like the game will be way less interesting if I just play as Jonathan. Because, like, he's just, you know, the, the basic, you know, Belmont whip-wielding character. 
And I've done that for the past, like, four or five games now, and I've gotten kind of bored of it. And I want, so and that's why I want something interesting like this. Oh yeah, I can't freaking go in there. The only thing I could think of doing is teleporting on over to, um... Actually, um... I got a better idea. Hear me out, right? I'm gonna reset the game. And we're gonna go to that- we're gonna go back and go to the teleporter. So we beat the boss, right? Yeah. Actually, I got it. I got that cog. What does that cog do? Hmm. Oh, that's what that. Okay, I think I get it now. That's what the point of that. Um, that's what the like they were saying. Like, hey, this thing, this door won't move or whatever. That's probably what that's for. You know, that makes so much more sense now. It's kind of neat seeing the the D-pad, the DS D-pad. So I'm assuming... Oh, freaking, freaking skeletons again. Oh yeah, right, let me take that off. Whoops. So I'm assuming every really release uses like just the D-pad of whatever the controller is you're using. Which I mean is fine, but I don't know man, that DS D pad has got me feeling a little nostalgic. So we can go left now, I believe. At least I think so. Let's look. You know that cog we found earlier will probably fit here? You think? Cog inserted. Yeah! We can get through now. Let's go! Does the dialogue change there based on um, who you're playing as or nah? Probably doesn't matter. What the hell? Room, room. <laughs> we got motorbikes, dude. Oh, okay. Oh, good thing it auto ducks. Oh shit, am I supposed to? Am I supposed to jump off of it? Oh yeah, I totally am. Wait, can I control this thing? Hmm. Oh, you gotta walk a long way back if you fuck this up. Alright, stay. And I'm going to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, I fucked up. I jumped. <laughs> I, was hoping, I was thinking if I, you know, jump, I could uh, make it. What the fuck? Why doesn't he stay, dude? He doesn't stay on the bike like he's supposed to. Am I supposed to be on the blue one? Maybe? Maybe I'm supposed to be on the blue bike, I don't know. What the fuck is this shit? Am I supposed to control him at the same time? Probably. This is jank as hell, man. Do I actually have to control him? Oh yeah, I do. I do have to control him. I think. Or I could just... 
Well, I think I have to have him out. So I have to have I have to have him duck, maybe. <laughs> Fuck! How do you do this? I'm confused on how this works. I can't like make I can't force him to duck, can I? Oh my god. So wait, how do I make him duck then? Can I make him duck by having him... No, that just makes him jump. Hmm. Will he duck automatically? No, he doesn't. What the hell is this shit? I don't- I don't fucking know. Do I need to look up a video on this, too? <laughs> what was the point of me coming to this room? If I can't even progress? Maybe I gotta consult the- the- maybe I gotta talk. <laughs> Let's see. Let's use the bike. It doesn't break the wall, though. Why? Is there anything else I should know about the bike? Am I supposed to ride the bike? Hang on, am I supposed to ride the bike with him on it? I, I can't, I don't know what it wants me to do here. How he stays on the bike with me? Well, none of you fucking get off the damn bike. I can't, it's not like I can make him duck or anything. That doesn't work. So, what the fuck is the deal with this? Okay, and then he just gets off the bike? Are you fucking serious? Alright, I'm, I'm fucking looking this up. What is this bullshit? <laughs> Portrait of Ruin Bike. <laughs> what the fuck is the bike? How do you do the bike? Do you, oh, you have to... Cr oh, wait, you have to crouch? You have to, like, crouch and then have them you do the crouch position? Wait, let me try that. So he'll stay crouched. Okay. He'll crouch if I am doing that. That's weird. So I think I have to stand in the same place as him? No, that's not how that works.
Never mind. It turns out I don't fucking get it. Because once I do that, he, he stops crouching. <laughs> and then he, he doesn't even fucking stay crouched. What the fuck? This doesn't make any sense, bro. You have to switch between the characters. Oh. What? I haven't needed to do shit like this before, and now I suddenly need to? I mean, actually, that's kind of clever. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I got so used to just playing one character. <laughs> saving after that that was a oh, I mean <laughs> it's just about it's about my intelligible Silent Hill riddles at this point yeah I don't think I ever would have figured that out on my own <laughs> hey, look another clock I can break <laughs> Oh, hang on. This is a, uh... This takes you back here. What the fuck? I still can't get those freaking money bags. No money? Yeah, I, I guess there must be some ability that lets me shorten my hitbox, then. Halberd. Okay, that's another area. Look at all these clocks, man. Look at me being all cool. This has a save. And this music survived. Hey, we got another warp. How am I doing on items? Honestly? Doing pretty good. I don't need a warp yet. Actually, we could maybe... Well, hang on. Have I completed any of the quests? Um... Overcome the curse. I don't think I've done any of these. Dang, there's a lot of quests in this game, actually. Well, there might be more quests I can accept. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, has it really been two hours already? It has not felt that long, man. I just get really into these damn Metroidvanias, man, I tell you. Oh, there are no new quests. I can't tell us because if it's because I haven't beaten the ones he gave me, or if it's just, you know, I haven't unlocked enough shit yet. Hmm. I love how quickly it got, like, super dark outside, and now, you know, you just get dark face cam mode. <laughs> Anyways, um, I, I just remember something I was gonna say. But, um... I recently subscribed to um, Mudahar, and, because I, I think I might have talked about this, I subscribed to Charlie, Penguin Z, or whatever the fuck, and so now I subscribe to uh, Some Ordinary Gamers. I subscribed to both of them around, like, the same time, because, like, you know, I've heard about them for a long time, you know, I've always seen, I've always been pretty interested in their shit. And I, I decided, like, you know what, I'm finally going to, uh, I'm finally going to subscribe and watch their stuff. And yeah, it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> also, I never went over here. Oh, here's the fourth painting. 
We already have a new painting. That's kind of wild. Killer doll. I mean, it's more like a marionette. Draw enemy attention to you. <laughs> oh shit! I'm. Wait, hang on. I'm cursed. Let me uh. Let me go back to um. Let me go back to uh. I guess it's Eric now, not Wind. Yeah, now that I'm cursed, we can go back to him. Wait, did it, did it wear off? I'm still cursed, right? Well done. Blessed ring received. Oh yeah, you do have to do that shit. Jonathan, perform the spinning art in front of me three times in a row. What the fuck? These are so stupid. What is the what is the blessed ring? Ring that neutralizes curses. Well, it's just the it's just the charge charm necklace, but worse. It's like kind of. I'm starting to feel a bit, uh... I'm starting to feel a bit, uh, less, you know, what's the word? A little less pleasant about the frickin' quests now? Hmm. Is there any way I'd be able to get up there now? No, I think we need to go this way. To go grass. Well, either way, I guess we're gonna go do the next, uh, painting already. Forest of Doom. See, now this is more like it. This is more like a, what I expect from a Castlevania level. One thousand year egg! A duck egg preserved in clay. Is that a... Can I eat that? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> what are these flies? Killer bees! Yo, Malachi! This is this guy from uh, Symphony. We got axe. We got red axe armor. <laughs> What's so different about him? He's red? Yeah, okay. Yeah, here, doll. The bees! Well, at least taking getting rid of those bees are pretty easy. It's a pretty nice, pretty nice looking area. Man, just look how many enemies I killed with that. Moldy bread, mmm, yummy, so delicious. Is that it? what is that even gonna do? Is that kind of like, you know? Let's find out. Eat the moldy bread. <laughs> It lowered my HP to one. <laughs> Horn suit. Okay, uh, well, I wasted all my potions. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, here, you stupid harpies. You're not the cute harpy from Poyo Poyo, now are you? Mmm. And go right. Bird up. Bird up. I'm not missing anything, am I? Yo, we got witches with jail physics. And cotton apron. Is that any good? Probably not, right? No. <laughs> 
This is a fun, uh, this is a fun little, uh, fun little armor you can get. There's a freaking nest up there. Pretty dope, though, I gotta say. Yeah, let's go over here. And there's nothing here. There's no, like, secret walls or anything with, like, HP ups in them or anything. That's a thing. Not the bees. Oh. Is there anything else in here? Oh, there's a path down here. Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty interesting area, I gotta say. What is that? That bell seems important somehow. More harpies. I'm almost dead, by the way. Eat the spaghetti. Now nah, save the spaghetti. Wow, those harpies are really weak to ice. Oh. Alright, what we got down here? There are a lot of witches down here. Yay! HP max! Which also means a free heal. Man, I just killed a crap ton of witches. Very sad. Um... I thought I was supposed to go this way. Frickin' Tombstone, man. The, the Tombstone is a w enemy. Oh, we got the Tree Golem. And then it burns to death <laughs> when it dies. Oh, Blue Crow. <laughs> I can't tell if the Tombstone's 3D or not. It kind of looks 3D. We got a mushroom zombie, moldy corpse. If there's one thing Castlevania does well, it's just adding random enemies that like you never expect. Did I just see 686 damage? <laughs> I don't think that was 686. I think the numbers got overlapped somehow. Yeah, they did. <laughs> That'd be some crazy endgame damage, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it just grows mushrooms. I didn't get cursed, did I? No. Don't gather. That's a wacky enemy. You know what? It kind of looks like a caco demon. <laughs> Discount Caco Demon, basically. Oh. Hey, Silver Leggings. They are not really that much better than what I have right now. Oh. <laughs> like you're getting hit by the freaking crows, man. Well, this point, I might as well save again. Just so I can heal. Maybe we can do- maybe I can do this, like, dungeon. 
and then I can maybe end the stream, I don't know. I mean, if I end it at 10 again, like I did last night, then I can just, uh, then I can watch, then I can maybe finish watching the finale of Sailor Moon. That'd be pretty edge, that'd be pretty exciting. I, I've had the I've had the Sailor Moon opening stuck in my head for like weeks now. <laughs> I, I like it so much that I freaking put it into Down Bad Edition as the uh, chapter start theme. <laughs> Man eating plant. Hmm. Now I'll be honest, I don't know where to go. I don't know if I should go down or up, but I guess we're going down right now. Okay, now we're outside. Yeah, I hear Caco Demon. <laughs> it really is just a Caco Demon, bro. Let me charge. Let me charge, bro. Okay, what the fuck? We got a tombstone to push out of the way. Now we got a dark room. Why am I killing frogs? I don't know. We just are. I don't think there's anything over there. I mean, unless there's something cool over there, I don't see the point on going on that route. Apparently, we're near the exit. <laughs> Got all those stock frog sound effects. Yeah, we can go up here. Oh, we had like a dark area. You know, let's eat that spaghetti. Let's see how much the he spaghetti heals. Yummy. That's a pretty decent heal, honestly. Stonewall, a defensive stationary stance passed down in the Morris family. Oh, that creates a shortcut now. Amethyst corset. There's just gonna be a crap ton of uh, corsets. And that one's still worse than the one I have. Somehow. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> what was I missing here? Oh yeah, I never went over here. There we go, mark that off. What, where the fuck did you come from? Well, I guess now that we create a shortcut, we can go check out the other rooms. Yeah, that witch deadass has jiggle physics. What were they thinking? I don't know, they were thinking peak, though, clearly. I mean, it's only like four pixels, but man, does it make a difference. Okay, well, clearly I'm supposed to go to the right, so I'm gonna see what was up and what I missed. I missed a bunch of crows dogpiling me. Oh, I missed armor. Silver plate. Better than the iron plate by three. And I keep getting bombarded by freaking birds. There. So it's a 200 heal. Yeah, see, I, I and I just in actuality missed out on a defensive upgrade. So that's one less thing I'll have to backpack for. Man-eating plant. 
Man-eating plant gang. You know what? Um, yeet. Okay, so we get it. Okay, that's the that's the boss. This is a save. Okay, what do we want? What do we want to use against the boss? Honestly, I think Ice Needle is good for enemies, and Tempest is good for um. Tempest is good for like bosses. So yeah, let's do that. Guess we're already done with this this area. Well, actually, we're not quite. It's definitely not Crocomire. <laughs> Am I supposed to hit the frog? Yeah, this is the frog. Oh, wait. Hang on. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so that's how you can deal damage. <laughs> Just get out of the way, and then you do that. Oh, I'm out of magic. Hold up. Yeah, let me just, uh... Get- take a hit, I guess. I'm taking way too much damage. That's like the best way to deal damage here. Now it's summoning like like spikes or something. Yeah, so Tempest also absorbs projectiles. So that's another reason why it's good. Although I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how you're actually supposed to dodge that shit. Doing some good damage here, man. Alright, let's, um... Drink the powdered milk. I mean, just, yeah, just absorb all the bullets that way. Got him. That wasn't too bad. the thing that lowers my hitbox. A shape hitting spell that turns the caster into a frog. And let's go let's go 100 percent this area now. So now we know how to get all those like things from earlier. One thousand year old egg. Keep forgetting to take off Tempest.
Wait, no, it's not. I keep forgetting it's Ice Needle, not Ice Fang. They're so similar, I keep forgetting. Okay, so I, I didn't go right. There's something over here. This is a shortcut over here. But then there is also a area up here that I never went. Oh, another tree! I'm getting rocked by the frickin' tree, man. This is... just another part of this map. Okay. Um, pudding. So that doesn't- that area doesn't actually go anywhere. <laughs> Frickin' crows, man. Yeah, I hear Lilith. Okay, and up here we have an entire area with witches. Seems like a pretty good place to go if you ask me. Is there, is there anything actually good up here? Oh, there's a save point up here. Oh, well, hey, you know what? For shits and giggles, let's see what the 1000 year egg does. It. It actually heals you. Oh. I thought it would actually be bad. Okay. What about the durian? Okay, that is a bad item. What else is there? I love how it makes a, like, a funny little noise like, eh, you ate the durian, dumbass. Why does it leave you 1 HP specifically? Okay, now I think we have 100% of this area. I don't think there's anything else on the map. I feel like these areas are just getting smaller and smaller, honestly. Oh, there's nothing here. I'm supposed to go this way. Man, I'm so good at killing harpies, dude. The bees. Just hopping around with my funny book. Yeah, I mean, this place wasn't actually taking- this, this place didn't actually take me as long as I thought it would. So, uh, kudos to that, I guess. <laughs> the fact that you can play the entire game without, like, the backwards dash... ...just goes to show you, like, how... ...like... ...little it ever gets used in this series. Like, I'm sure there's some people who use it, but not me, that's for sure. Okay. Um... I could keep going, honestly. I'm a little curious as... Actually, let's say it first. So, what can I do? Um, oh, you know what I just realized, actually? Now I can go get that nun, like, headdress in, um, the desert world now. 
even though that's kind of annoying to go get. Mm. I can't think of anywhere else you can go besides up here. And that, and getting that money, I guess. But I'll get that later. Actually, you know what I should do? I should go back to the shop. Yeah, let's do that instead. And that one square in the starting area is never gonna get marked because uh, I still don't have a way to jump that high. Yeah, you, you can only accept five quests at a time, which is really stupid. I'll make, thank you. Guess we're never gonna be finishing all those quests up then. Uh, yeah, give me some tonic. The thing is, the high potions, they cost like four times as much. And they only heal, like, double the normal potion. Um, no castle map 4, I guess. I don't think there's any new gear. Hey man, that gear looks pretty good. Oh, this is getting knocked far back when you get hit. Which actually doesn't sound that good. The Diamond Tiara, which gives a whopping 8 defense. Hmm. Well, yeah, and the Prima Shoes are decent. Hmm. Oh, I'm so tempted to get those. But I'd also lose out on my magic attacks. There's not actually that much here. Platinum chain. Lowers my mind by 10, though. Mm -hmm. Spirit of Light and Dark Rift. You know what? Sure, let's buy these. See what, Let's try those out. Alright, let's get to selling some stuff. Alright, so we don't need, um, the Blessed Ring. I'm gonna be honest, yeah, I don't want that. Silver Leggings. Okay, we don't need Spiked Boots. We don't need, um, the Combat Boots anymore. We don't need the Fedora. Or the Monocle. <laughs> or the Dancer Blouse. Or the Cotton Apron. And this corset, the jade corset. Okay, I don't need the iron plate. We don't need the morning star. Um, or the halberd. We don't need this anymore. Uh, the nebula, I don't know if I want to keep that or not. I might keep it just for your cool, because it's cool. Thank you. And I have 31,000 gold. Jeez. Maybe I will buy some high potions with that. And a couple of high tonics. Oh, high tonics are cheap, actually. Let's get five of those. I think, that, I think this is probably the Castlevania game that I've used magic in the most, honestly. Alright, now we can make progress. And the only place to make progress is over here. Really, uh, a lot of options there, don't we? Riveting. So many options, so many places, so many different places I can go. A, whole, a whopping one. A whopping one place I can go. So yeah, um... I need to equip the... Frog... The frog thing, right? Code Morph. I'm gonna kill it. 
Yeah, I leveled up. <laughs> I leveled up as a frog. Oh yeah, let's try the dark rip. Let me see what the hell that looks. Um, let's test that on an enemy. Um, Charlie, are you okay? Oh. She's getting cursed by these dudes. What the fuck? Okay, maybe not the best enemies to test these out on, huh? That was annoying. I thought I soft locked or some shit. Actually, I'd argue this is, like, a terrible place to test out my magic. Oops. Hey, let me switch back. Oh, yeah, anything that touches it just takes damage. Those damn Medusa has to leave me alone now. Thunderbolt. And for some reason, I. Why can't I use my spell now? Uh oh, no, don't do that. But all of his all his fire is getting sucked into it too. Well, that's great. Well, actually, I think the reason why I can't summon it is because it just stays on screen. It stays in like one spot and it like never goes away. Slogger. Oh yeah, isn't this guy the the first boss in um in uh, Symphony of the Night? Pretty sure it is. Okay, so Dark Rift is more of a boss ability then. So what about Spirit of Light? Hmm, not bad. It just does, like, a crap ton of damage. And also homes, it looks like. Rose stem. Actually, using Jonathan in these places is not good. Frick. What else can I do? Uh, I can try a Thunderbolt. It'd be nice if I stopped getting comboed. Let me heal up. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad either. Oh, no, 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 no. Definitely heal again. I didn't even see you there, buddy. How do you break free of those guys, anyway? Imps. Yeah, they're nothing like the imps from PvZ. I'd argue these guys are even more annoying.
Yeah, Guybon and Slogro. Ooh, another warp. Well, usually if there's a warp point, there's a safe point nearby, too. Thunderbolt, it seems a little, um, inconsistent. So, you get, you want to know what that means, guys? So we're switching back to the Ice Needle again. <laughs> Because I feel this, I swear, this really is just one of the best damn spells in the game. I don't know how many people agree with me on that. Ooh, loot cape. Wait, I wait, I sold his uh, his armor. I think. Well, now he's got a blue cape. It's just better. Oh, look at all this crap that I'm not wearing now. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep forgetting I have these co-op moves. Oh, he's stuck. Bro got stuck. I guess the AI in this game isn't that smart, huh? Okay, how about we do this boss, and then maybe we can call it a night. We've been going for three hours. I think three hours is a good enough length for these streams. Oh, we're fighting death? That look you have. I'm assuming you've run into Brahma. That's none of your business. You won't escape this time. You do realize there's no connection between myself and Brahma, don't you? And yet you still challenge me. If my research is correct, you have a strong desire to see Dracula revived, correct? Even if you're not working with Brahmer, you still have to be defeated. Challenging me even though you can't use the whip? Oh, utterly absurd. But I'll play with you anyway. Okay. So, in other words, um... Well, actually, it's death. He'd probably be immune to, um, Dark Rift, wouldn't he? You know, let's try it anyways. He has, like, a wacky force field around him. Actually, that doesn't do- actually, that's that damage isn't that bad. Actually, wait, what if the- what if it's- it, maybe it's possible the rip disappears when I get hit. Tempest might be- actually, he might be weak to light, if anything. I don't know how much that did. 88! One seventy six. Okay, that's the- that's the answer, then. Oh, but the spirit of light is attacking the um it's, 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 not, it's not attacking him directly he's guarding against it now hold him out of MP again. Nice guarding against it. Now I can't use magic against him or what? Ow, jeez. Oh yeah, he's just immune to magic in this phase or something. Yo, Jonathan. Hang on, we gotta be... Let's use a high potion as well. I 
Alright, just keep attacking him then. Okay, he's switching modes now. I think that's what's happening. He's switching to what modes he's going into. But I mean, the fact that that does so much damage is amazing. Alright, let me get rid of the frickin' chains. I'm getting my ass beat. I got my ass beat, bro. I ain't posting that shit. <laughs> Ow. No. Just keep spamming Spirit of Light. Death is getting aggressive. Let's drink some more tonic. Oh, that's not good. Okay, my ass beat again. I mean, I will be honest, this is a pretty damn good death fight. And I'm, I'm out of heals now. Got him. That was a good fight. It didn't. It, it wasn't too difficult, but it did, and it went on long enough that it was actually uh, threatening. Ugh. How can someone like you possess such amazing powers? I may not have the whip's power, but I can still kick your ass. <laughs> That's a good line. I'm screenshotting that. <laughs> I just love Jonathan's fucking smug face. He's like, "Yeah, I did. I kicked your ass." I underestimated you. Still, I have my reasons for holding back. Is that your excuse? How typical. Now resign yourself to your fate. Know the limits of your power. You still have a task to perform, so for now I will take my leave. We'll meet again. Damn it, he ran away. Say, what do you suppose Death meant when he said we still have a task to perform? Forget it. We can take on anyone. No problem. How can you only be so confident? I like to think positive, that's all. Look, stop worrying so much and focus on what we have to do. Defeat Death and Brawner, got it? Okay, okay. Worrying only makes things worse than they really are, right? You got it. Alright, yeah, that's a pretty- that's a great note to end the episode on, actually. Beating up Death. Well, actually, I probably should buy some potions before I start the next episode, though, right? Because nobody wants to watch me get freaking potions at the start of the next episode. Yeah. Man, I deserve an achievement for defeating death. I deserve, uh, like, ten potions. And a burp. The burp is, the, is a bonus. That's not included with the package. Say, Eric, there's something I want to ask you. Sure, what is it? 
Did my father know the vampire killer would consume his life when he used it? No, we only learned the truth after Dracula is defeated. We found out using magic after noticing John took so long to recover. I see. Jonathan, why did you ask that? Grandfather was already dead by the time I was born. I was wondering if Grandfather gave him the whip knowing the truth about it. Hmm, I wonder. No worries. Your Grandfather was exceptionally strong, but kind. That's good to hear, right Jonathan? I suppose. We're getting like, some lore, like every time we come here. Huh, Vincent's not here. Um, uh... What's wrong? Something bothering you? There was an attack, a biting. Huh? A vampire bit someone. What? Who? Me! What? Seriously? What'll I do? Do something, do something, please! Just calm down. You still got time before you turn into a vampire. Uh, yeah, that's what they say. Purification spells are effective in the early stages. I beg of you, do something for me. Get that purification spell. Charlotte, can you do something? I don't know. I'll just have to try the magic I already possess. What magic do I even have? <laughs> can I do Spirit of Light? Um... I don't know. <laughs> You're back. Is there is there um wait a, is there a purification spell? Come back after wearing three nuns items. Yeah, a healing spell. Is that what I'm is that what I'm supposed to wear? Or is that what I'm supposed to do? Hmm. You know what? That might be a good thing to look up at the end of this episode. A portrait of ruin, none items. Let's see. Um. Is it? I mean, is this uh, is this necessary? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. Um, yeah, apparently, um, yeah, apparently I, I'm locked out of beating this this quest now because I sold the nun hat or whatever. So fuck, <laughs> fuck me, I guess. Apparently, this is a problem that a lot of people have had. They sold their nun stuff and then they didn't realize it, and now I, you can't, you can't uh, beat the quest. Is there any way to cure him? You know, let me look this up. Let me, I might look this up, actually. Uh, Castlevania Wiki? Maybe the Wiki will have some information on that. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. Hmm... To either cure him or let him be consumed. It says, uh, curing him is a cosmetic thing, it looks like. It says you have to cure him with Sanctuary? Sanctuary is one of Charlotte's magical skills. It is an advanced spell that cures statuses. Well, how do you get it? You have to f you find it at Sandy Grave. 
Oh. Let's see. In the room with giant boulders, Charlotte must have learned the Toad Morph spell. Interesting. Okay, that's something I'll have to do in the next episode. I'll have to remember that. Okay. Let's buy some more potions, more tonics, high tonics, and now I'm broke. Actually, let's sell some stuff. I did, I'm doing the complete opposite. Oh, hey, Rose Whip. Actually, that's better than, uh... It's better than the Nebula. Technically, in terms of attack. Actually, let me try it out. Let's try out the Rose Whip. Oh. oh that's cool. You can do the... You can do the, the thing where you spin it around. Wait, why does he leave? <laughs> he leaves after you, uh, do that. Eh, nah, I'll sell the whip. Bye. Um, the Koos. Is this better than, uh, is this better than Long Spear? Sure, I'll uh, What did I sell? Wait, I have two Long Spears. Oh yeah, that's right. Am I still wearing the bandana? Mmm. Wait, we can sell the normal cape now. Uh, well, yeah, I was gonna sell the crystal necklace. I don't think I'm wearing that anymore. And then he just runs away. Alright, let's put the. Let's see how this weapon works. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty good. Okay. Well, I think that'll be a... That's a decent place to end off the episode. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. Um, thank you for watching uh, Portrait of Ruin for tonight. We made some... Uh, we made some pretty decent progress, I'd say. And, uh, I'm pretty happy with how things are coming along. So anyways, as always, uh, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch. And we'll be doing, uh, more of this game, obviously, throughout the week. Um, I might be able to do it Thursday, and maybe Friday, too. Could just play it four times, four times this week, who cares? You know, do it Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I mean, hey, I mean, if I have free time, I'm gonna play this game, obviously. Anyways, I'll see you guys then, so take care.